Hello, my name is Barbara Gray from Clarity Stamp here in the UK. Welcome to YouTube Tuesday. So today I thought it would be a good idea to use our stencils and go through the process of running them through an embossing machine. I want to show you, this is a, a flare stencil we call this, and I want to show you how I've used the stencil over the top of our chromo card, which is a really beautiful glossy card, and how we've embossed the lines through the chromo card. Let's have a look at how we do this. So the first thing I want to do is go through the sequence of the different plates. I'm using my ebosser, love my ebosser. Um, and I'll just go through the plate sequence to get this embossed card. I'm going to use the A plate, then what I'm going to use is a rubber shim next. Now, I tend to use a couple of pieces of copy paper just to protect the rubber shim. I think that works well. Now, let's think about this. If I've got my glossy card, and I put the glossy side up and then I put my my stencil on top of the glossy card what's going to happen is the the pressure is going to push the bits that you can see the card that you can see up so that's what we're going to do and uh, I'll just put that in place like so and then the next one I need is a C plate so I'm going to use my C plate next then my B plate. Don't ask me why it's in this order. I asked the experts and this was the answer I got. And then I've got a D plate at the end. So what I want to do now is just run this through my machine. And while I'm doing that, why don't I put that there so that you can see exactly what the sequence is. So in it goes. And I'm going to turn it around and put it through a second time just because I think it will emboss the work even better. There we go, look, no hands. Yay! So let's check it out. So we'll get rid of our layers. There we are. I've got two nice bits of copy paper that are well embossed. Now let's check this out. I'll just put this over here. Perfect. So you can see how the image has embossed really really well yeah and on the other side of course we've got the opposite so it depends entirely which side if you want the glossy it just depends entirely how you put the card in the machine i love this system i think it works really well so i've already put a couple together there we go there's one like we've just done and i've cut it and then there's one where i flip the glossy paper the glossy card the chromo card so that the these bits here are actually debossed, they're recessed. So I'm going to stick with the plan though, and I'll just put my things over there, and let's just see how we can now accentuate this, how we can bring this out. Enter the brush. So I just want to put a bit of copy paper on under here, and let's just take a look. I think the first thing we want to do is take a look at the little picture. Let's create the picture in the center first. Let's have a look. I need some masks to finish this up. And so I'm going to use my post-its and I'm going to just cover up the whole picture, the whole frame, apart from the center. And I'm using the post-its right to the inner embossed line. There we are go around like so spot on and when I've done that the next thing I want to do now is add my mask so I want a moon mask I'm going to use that in a minute and now I need my trees and I'll pop my trees in and that will be our centerpiece to stamp on um, chromo card, I'm going to use a black archival ink pad. So we'll just add the trees. And because we're, we're stamping on ultra glossy card, we do need to go gently so that we don't slide around. So I'm just going to stamp from one side to the other and this will set my, 
my scene. Perfect. And this will dry quite quickly, methinks, but I just want to check. So I just want to let that dry before I start going over it with a makeup sponge. And in the meantime, I can cut out my masks. So I'm going to use one of our moon masks. That sits nicely there. And then the other thing I've done is I've taken a makeup, uh, a makeup sponge. The other thing I've done is I've taken a post-it and I've stamped at the sticky end. This is the sticky end. And I've just cut along the actual tree ridge, you see. Because what I'm after is covering up, this is the bit I want, I'm after covering up the base part, this bit here, you see, because I want to concentrate on the sky. So all I'm going to do now is just add this here, like so. There we are. And now I can concentrate on the sky area. Let me just cover up the bottom as well so we don't have a calamity. Now, for the sake of artwork, I'm going to let this dry. I don't want, I know these trees will still be slightly wet. So we'll give it a couple of minutes just to make sure they're absolutely dry before I spoil it. Go put the kettle on. Okay, I think that's good and dry. So let's just add a bit of background. I need my brush for this, one of my stencil brushes. And I'm going to work with a couple of different ink pads. Let's build the colour up gradually. So we're just going to gently add some blue to the sky. And I'm just using weathered wood, which is a little bit moody, a bit grey. But it's lovely, watch. And I'm just adding a little bit of colour with my brush. And then I'm going to take my spiced marmalade or peach bellini or mountain rose and I'm just going to add a really nice sunset or a sunrise colour. This is lovely, look. And I'm using a makeup sponge now to get in behind the trees. There we go. So we're just concentrating on the ridge now with a colour. Nice. And you'll see that this coated stock, this chromo card as we call it, it takes dye-based inks beautifully, which is an important thing to know. There we go. A bit more blue. Good. Now let's take away our moon and our masks and check out where we're headed now. Good. Now before I take this away, I just want to add a little tiny accent of blue across the base as well. Nice. See how the brush just picks up the edge? Good. Now we'll take away these masks. Okay. So we've created this lovely picture in the centre. And the next thing I want to do, to do the outside, and this is where you'll see the embossed stencil work come into its own. Now I've cut a, a post-it that is going to cover up the outer edge now. So I'll just add this now to this edge here like so. Good. And now I'm going to use the brush and I'm going to sweep right across. And what you'll see is, as I do this, and I haven't re-inked, you'll notice, but do you see how the ink just catches the edges? Very lovely. And you just go across. I think I'll stand up for this one, make the artwork come to me. And this is how you can really enhance the embossed lines. See how it brings it out? It's good, isn't it? There we go. Mm -hmm. 
So you see, when you lift away our center po post-it, you've got this wonderful frame around the outside and the brushes have just brought it to life. And then we'll just dust over and that, my friends, will do. So you see, you can use our stencils through an embossing machine. I think that is well worth knowing. Uh, do go and check out our website for our stencils. We have a beautiful selection, www.claritystamp.co.uk. Don't forget to go to my blog. Uh, I blog every day, lovely projects, barbaragrayblog.blogspot.com, and I shall see you next Tuesday. Bye-bye now.